And we are arriving in Edmonton. There you can see it's kind of the top of the big tall buildings behind those containers there. There we go. There's a better view of the city of Edmonton. Hell right. Hell right. Edmonton. We're back. We're back. Hey everyone, real quick, I want to thank the sponsor today's video being Raid Shadow Legend, just that is right. So have you ever been looking for a really high quality RPG game that fits in your pocket and you can take anywhere? Well now you can with Raid Shadow Legends. There's over 500 different champion characters to collect, all with their own skill set, their own abilities. Because it's always so different and so customizable, it literally gives you trillions of different methods to make your own character. Like no two things are ever going to be the same. What I really like about the game is it was so easy to install, so easy to download, the graphics look great, it's very captivating if you like that kind of high action RPG game not to mention there's some very beautiful looking characters which else is really cool is that Raid is always upgrading it's always changing so what is new with Raid so Raid just released the artifact forge where you can save time and craft artifacts directly also they have an advanced quest system which has amazing different rewards and it's all bringing out some new amazing champions and they're developing an amazing looking doom shower as we speak which i'm also super excited about so definitely go to the description click that link guys and if you are a new player for the next 30 days only you're going to get 100,000 silver one free champion which is called lights more very 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 good for new users you had some really good skill sets and all this treasure will be waiting for you in your little inbox from the mobile device i'll show you on mine and of course it's available on android ios and your computer so like i said guys next 30 days click that link go use that now now it's only available to you, so new users, let's go. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. Today we're outside Miss Saigon, do their foot challenge. It's a very big foot challenge. It's about 15 pounds, so it's a lot of food. We're gonna have one hour to complete it here with my good friend, Mr. Scott. So fingers crossed, hope we can do this, and uh, that's about it. Fa, lots of fa. So let's go. All right, everyone, so here we are with the challenges. Two massive, massive bowls of pho. So multiple pounds of noodles, meat, vegetables, um, and then all the broth, which apparently is not required for the challenge. But anyway, yeah, so we have 60 minutes to eat this monstrosity of a challenge. Um, it has about a 6 to 8% success rate. So yeah, well, like fingers crossed, been about 10 winners out of like 130 attempts. So uh, hopefully we can get it done. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna get started here. We'll say the count of five, four, three, two, one. It's really hot, we're in a rush, so we're gonna ice it. Wish us luck. Thanks, so. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. Scott's winning this one today. <laughs> I'm predicting it now. It's nice and cooked. It's nice and tender. Going down easy. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're at Miss Saigon's in Edmonton, Alberta. This is uh, Scott and my second time in Alberta together um, for this trip, this trip being in August. Um, so yeah, we came to do their FUD challenge. Uh, we were basically just going through Edmonton, stopping there for the night, and we were quite a bit in a bit of a rush actually. Um, I'll get into that momentarily. So there have been uh, some winners on this challenge, as we mentioned, about a 8% success rate, 6 to 8% success rate, um, to which you did not actually have to finish the broth. Um, but it is definitely a very large bowl of pho, uh, whether you're looking at just the ingredients or the broth as well. Um, so yeah, it is a big one, that is for sure. 
Um, I'll get into kind of a little bit of the details. Um, you, those who have been following know I'm not a big pho fan. In fact, I really just generally don't enjoy it. Scott really likes it though, so I'm always more than happy to join him for a pho challenge. Um, and of course, well, hey, we pretty much were going through all the challenges in and around Edmonton. We were just clearing them out. We were running through them, and this is the one that had to be done still. So for this challenge, it is a pay-to-play. Um, however, you do get a like gift card uh, if for winning, and I believe also a T-shirt. Um, and so yeah, pretty like standard in that regard. But it is a pay-for-play. Um, so Scott and I, we like called and we said, hey, we're gonna be there at eight o'clock. Um, can you please have the fudge challenges ready? To which the lady said, yes, that'll be fine. Of course, we showed up at like eight o'clock, and they weren't at all ready. They hadn't started them at all, so we kind of. Again, we were in a, a, quite a rush, actually. We were on a very uh, short timeline, so it was kind of unfortunate because we had to wait for them to be made, and let's say by the time we got them, it was like 8.30, 8.40. Of course, they were absolutely piping hot, so we had no uh, ex we had no option other than to pour water and pour ice and just to try to get them to cool down because we needed to eat them as quick as we could so we could hit the road. Um, but yeah, anyway, I mean, stuff happens, life happens. Um, but so if you are going to come to the challenge, call in advance and make sure that there is no miscommunication in regards to your timings because they could really throw off your plans, kind of like you did ours. But back to the challenge, pretty standard. Um, you had different kinds of meat in it, um, like tripe, you had your tendon, you had your uh, rare beef, um, you had your noodles and a lot of broth. The records prior to this, I believe they said was like maybe 30-ish minutes or something along that lines, 30-something minutes. Um, so there was, again, a record, um, which I guess both, it really, I mean, we have, we're trying to eat this as quick as we could, really for the purpose of hitting the road. So undoubtedly, I guess you could say we were inadvertently going for that record. Um, Scott, again, really likes pho challenges. He's a great pho challenge eater. Um, again, I'm just not, uh, it's, it's not my forte, but that being said, again, happy to join him in this challenge. Uh, so if you're ever in the area, you do want to try this challenge, you can definitely do so. Like I said, just make sure you call in advance, figure out all those details. But at that, that's pretty much all the information I have to tell you. Um, you will see some footage of us entering Jasper area, uh, some very famous mountains in Alberta at the end of the video, so definitely be sure to check that out. And we have more mountains coming in some of our future videos. So that everybody, thank you very, very much. Um, please, if you like the videos, please give that video a like. Comment down below, let me know what you think of pho. Are you a pho person? Again, I already told you I am team not pho. So are you team pho? And of course, guys, Give that video a subscribe. Very much appreciate it when you guys do that. It really helps me out. And of course it helps you out too. Completely free. Hit that button guys. And at that I will let you get to the rest of this video. Let's see if we can beat the challenges. And let's see. Maybe we can get some new records. Let's see what happens. And uh, let's get going. Says the man who's done.
Do you have a strainer? Yeah, do you have a strainer? Can we get you? Something like that. Congratulations to Scott. Fresh to do. I'm not too far behind. That's right. And I can't wait to get this done. Saigon. Thanks for the staff uh, for this food. It was delicious. It went down easy. Uh, so Joel got time just over 10 minutes. Uh, I got time nine and a half, something like that. So uh, with that, guys, thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. The war room. Everybody just finished up. Huge congratulations to Scott. Absolutely crushed it. Um, you know, I'm glad that we got it done. <laughs> And uh, that, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, huge thanks to Miss Saigon and Edmonton for having us out. And did that till next time. Say happy, healthy, hungry. Happy Don't, eating. Yeah, ha <laughs> happy eating. Don't do what we do, but you know, just live your life, have a great one, and uh, that's it. So, till next time, everybody. Here we got Scott writing his name on the Wall of Fame. And also writing my name up on the Wall of Fame. Thank you, Scott. Scott, two seconds ago, said he didn't know how to write. Good thing we taught him in the last 30 seconds. Excuse me. And that's what downtown Edmonton looks like in the morning. And then now it's going to be behind a tree. But thank you, Edmonton. We had some fun. It was a good time for our short stopover or short stay and uh, now it is 6 8, 6 8 a.m. in the morning and uh, that's about it. Thanks Edmonton.
it is 11 degrees out, 11 degrees Celsius, which is probably like 50, maybe 50 Fahrenheit. Winter is officially here in Canada. Summer is over. And the date, you may ask? Early August. That's right, y'all. It's cold as living hell up here. The summer's gone. We're back down to that cold weather. It's only August, early August for us here. So, I tell you what, one thing, it's just, it's just not happening. And y'all, people wonder why I like the warmth of them further south nations and places. But it's a beautiful morning out here. Nice and beautiful. By the way, it's actually now 6.40. It's actually 7.40. The old time on the car is just wrong, but here we go, y'all. The Canadian wilderness. There's trees and grass and trees and grass and it is green and nice and blue though to give you that that's a hell interesting sky and it's nice and blue and it's green and we're getting up in the mountainous trees and regions and I don't know if you can see them over there but hey guys the start of the mountains up there and just look at that that is quite a dang freaking view driving on a road and trees and all of a sudden there's all this stuff look at those freaking mounds they're freaking huge and that range just goes on and on and on and on and on holy Toledo this is up near Jasper Jasper Alberta and then we are in Hilton or Hinton Hinton and again, just look at the view of those mountains from this little town, city place. Quite something to, you know, wake up those every morning, I guess. Mountains. Four mountains up here in Alberta. Big old mountain thing things. And way more. On the way to Jasper, and again, just like absolutely surrounded by these mountain ranges, just absolutely crazy. And the crazy thing is to fathom how big they are. Look at all the trees, like it looks like a moss on that mountain, but those are like all big, big, tall pine trees all the way up and down the side of it. Like, these things are huge. Just look at it. It is very beautiful. And look at all these other ones. Which are equally as freaking crazy and beautiful. 